I think you know in the first five minutes if you're in the hands of somebody who can really take you on this, you know, on this ride in a great way. And um, and once you have, you know, ascertained that you are, you kind of trust the narrative in a way that you wouldn't otherwise. And that makes for a more pleasurable experience, in my experience. Uh, and I think Todd had that from the very beginning. Yeah, that from the very yeah. beginning. And but n not to dig in on it, but where does his where does his foundation come from to get to that point? You know, is, is I mean, not that I mean, not that it matters, but I think it does matter to people that's, to hear about that. I guess that's more of a question for, for him. Time, yeah. uh, you know, he's he's very intellectual. Uh, you know, um, is very knowledgeable of film history yes. and really sees everything. I mean, one thing that always, you know, when I meet young people who insist, and I feel like I've spoken at every film school in America at this point, when I meet young people who insist they want to be filmmakers, I'm always astounded at how little they really know about film history. And I don't mean to sound like a, you know, an old crank. It's more like you really got to, like, you know, filmmaking is all about referencing everything that came before you. And, you know, it always made me laugh when people would come up to me at the end of Carol and say, I don't know if you know this, but that, 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 you know, device was in Brief Encounter. And it's like, yes, everybody knows that. That was the whole point, you know? Um, so that always astounds me. Right, that, that they think that somehow that you were oblivious to what you were uh, contributing right. to. And that they think that they've just come up with something, right. some incredible uh, observation. Right. right. Meanwhile, you guys have been studying the the history uh, and when Todd, of narrative filmmaking for years. When Todd makes a movie, he, um, and this isn't so unusual, I think a lot of directors do this, but but he really digs into, you know, all the influences, you know, wants everybody to watch, you know, all these, you know, a certain set of films for whatever movie he's making. But he also creates these lookbooks for every scene way before we start shooting, uh, f where every scene he gives some sense of, the, of images that reflect what he's trying to do, uh, the palette of the scene. Yeah. Um, and then he gives these books to the department heads so that everybody's working from the same thing. So the DP and the costumer and uh, the production designer all have a sense of like, oh, you know, he's going, you know, it's for this kind of mood and this kind of color. And, and so this, should, this is the, what the clothes should look like. And this is how I should paint the wall, et cetera, et cetera.